Today, Balls Deep, the lotto ticket went to the gym, and it was a good day. And it, a good day always starts off at the gym. There's like this five foot eight Chinese lady with gigantic fake hooters. And she broke her leg, so she hasn't been coming to the gym for a few months, but she's back. And when she gets super hot, she takes off her jacket. So the day has already started off well. Then I get home and I eat my bagel and my protein drink and I, I turn on the news and on comes this guy, this senatorial candidate from Missouri, who has basically said that if a, that if a dude rapes a woman, she could not get pregnant by sheer force of will, by natural reaction of her body to like some random you know dude committing rape. And I'm trying to think to myself, like... When did the Republicans go insane? Like, they used to believe in less foreign entanglements, less spending, uh, lower taxes, and now it's like they believe that gay dudes are less than human, and I'm like, okay, basically, I understand what they're thinking. They're thinking, I don't like gay sex, it's weird. I mean, it's weird to me, too, but to a Republican, any sex that's not missionary is pretty fucking weird. So, to a Republican, doggy style is weird. Or, or like spooning, or the scissor move, or, I mean, there's a shitload of moves, I don't need to list them here, but to a Republican, just having non-missionary sex with anything but one woman your whole life is weird, so I'm thinking, you know what, why are these guys talking about women's issues, it doesn't make sense, and I keep watching, and then they, they go through all these different segments, and they've, they've gone after Planned Parenthood, and said that Planned Parenthood just, uh, provides abortions, which it doesn't do. It does all kinds of women's health things. Like, women know this. They, they do cancer screenings for women. Like, they save lives. But these guys are still going after him, and Mitt Romney says he's going to cut the funding. And then I went and looked at Mitt Romney's record in Massachusetts, and he was a pro-gay, pro-gay pro -gay marriage, pro-choice, uh, Medicare for everybody in Massachusetts governor. And then Obama took that guy's plan. He took Mitt Romney's plan for Massachusetts and he put it on the national stage, completely eliminating what Mitt Romney could run against him. And now Mitt Romney has to disavow the very plan he invented, which has been incredibly successful in Massachusetts. He has to disavow it just because Barack Obama uh, proposed it. And I thought, so basically Barack and Obama now and Mitt Romney 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the exact same dude. They're pro-gay rights. They're you know, they're not super liberal, they're, they're kind of more towards the center, and they're pro-gay marriage, and they're pro-women's rights, and they're, they're uh, you know, they seem to have no problem with government spending, and they like health care. So I thought, why do Republicans hate Obama so much? And I realized, they hate Obama so much, they've nominated for their political candidate a guy who's basically the exact same as Obama, just without a D on his name, and without black skin, or half black skin. It's fucking incredible, and I just want to know when did the Republican Party go crazy? Because if this were the 1950s, I could vote for them. I'd vote for Dwight Eisenhower. Consider my, myself to be an Eisenhower Republican, but you can't vote for these guys anymore. They think the world is flat. What the hell has happened? This is just a thought. Balls deep, the lotto ticket. Please send me your messages at uh, Stern Ryan at Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Balls deep, lotto ticket. Peace out.